everyone, my name is Kylie and welcome to Hammy House. In today's video, we are talking about hedgehogs. Yes, hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are very expensive. If you get them from a pet store, they can be up to $200. They're usually $50 to $100, but yes, some breeds can be up to $200. Um, um, what kind of stuff do you need? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. For a hedgehog, well, you need obviously a cage that is very large. I'll show you my cage in, at the end of the video. But you need a cage. Inside your cage, you will need a big wheel. Um, obviously, a food dish that is small enough for their little noses to get to. You'll need a water bottle or a water dish. Um, preferably the water bottles, the non-spring ones, the ones that go back and forth. I explained this before. Um, you'll need a little hut for them to hide in, and either you can use fleece for their ground or bedding. I like bedding because fleece is just so hard to handle. It gets so dirty, so every day I have to wash it, and I really don't feel like doing that. So, yeah. How much should you feed your hedgehogs? Well, you should feed them every day because I usually give them two tablespoons of kitty food or hedgehog mealworm stuff in their bowl and by the morning it's usually all gone so then later that night I give the exact same amount again so that is just that. Jeez you scare me. Okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is cleaning them and cage cleanings so once you do clean your hedgehogs well they do like bathtubs and they usually like bathtubs and they like being in baths and the time you should bathe your hedgehog is once a week you should really scrub their feet out and you should get Johnson's baby shampoo which is good for their uh, uh, which is not dangerous for their eyes get that stuff, get a toothbrush and like scrub them with the toothbrush, um, really get under the quills, make sure you get the dirt out and you should only do that once a week. For cage cleanings, oh the, by the way the water temperature, it should be room temperature, kind of warm. Um, they hate cold, just letting you know. Hey Grumpy, when should you clean their cage? Well you should clean their cage once a week and every day you should spot clean. Because spot cleaning, they poop on their wheel so much. So I have, what I have is one bin cage um, where they sleep, there's a big tube, and then there's another cage where they play. The play place is the dirtiest, and I clean that one once a week, how you should. Or I put like a little tray underneath, and when I wake up, it's full of poop, so I could just take it out wash it off, put it back, and there's no poop anywhere else. Sometimes it gets everywhere, but sometimes it do doesn't. But just letting you know, they run and poop at the same time. They just can't c control their little tummies, or they just like to poop while they run. Just letting you know. Water. When should you replace their water? Well, if they do have a dish, a water dish, not recommended by the way, but if they do have a water dish, you should change it out every day because stuff gets inside, even if you use fleece, their poop, they might have peed in there without you noticing. They do a bunch of crazy stuff overnight, as you should know if you do own a hedgehog. But, you should change the water dish every single day. If you have a water bottle, you should change it every two days. Um, I mean like, yeah, change it every day if you want to because that's helpful. But at the most, change it every two days because you don't want stale water, you want it to be nice and cold for them and refreshing, and you obviously don't want stale water, so two days at the most. What do hedgehogs play with? Well, I have a little ping pong ball in there. Um, I'm not sure if hedgehogs can see color, but they can't see very well. So. I just, they have a little ping pong ball in there that they move around with their nose. I've actually seen them do that and I never knew hedgehogs would do that. I also have a little yellow foam ball that they, they sometimes play with as well. But otherwise, the thing they really play with is the wheel. Run on the wheel. That's just what they do. Um, just another fact, by the way, when they're sleeping, we're going to learn about coziness, how they sleep. They obviously want a shelter to sleep in, so you need to buy a shelter. I have a little stump 
thing. Here, I'll get it for you. I have this little tree stump. It's pretty big. Um, it's just the little stump that they sleep in. They need a shelter. You could also buy a really big bendy bridge. They like those. Um, they do like to climb a little bit, like easy climb. Um, but yeah, for sleeping, you need to have a shelter for them. You also need to have like something they can cover themselves in and hide in. So not a stump or a bendy bridge. They need like a one of your old shirts that smell like you helps if you have a grumpy hedgehog and they can just like sleep in it. I have two shirts that don't fit me and I always keep it in their cage so then they can just go underneath it and hide and keep warm because yes temperatures they need hot temperatures or else they will go into hibernation and starve to death and now I have to learn about temperatures and how to keep warm. I just told you the little blanket thing. They obviously need a blanket or something. I use wood shavings and that um, critter care stuff, both of them, but um, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, um, but you can also use like a little thermometer thing so you can see the temperature if it's low, you can make it up and stuff. Um, you can use one of those things, I really don't know what it's called, I don't remember, but it's like a, um, it's a little thermos, not a thermostat, but you can like control their temperatures in their little cage, so you can put an actual heating lamp in there, and turn it off at night time because, you know, safety hazards and they don't like light, but, um, to keep them warm at night time, or like in the daytime I guess when they're sleeping you can put it there so then you can control their heat I don't use one of these just because one they're expensive two it's just so much of a hassle my bedroom is hot like literally I'm sweating right now if you can see this but I do keep it hot for them but sometimes it does get really stinking here so I do have to open a window or turn on my that's everything I will talk with you today um, I will be making a next video on let's talk about hamsters because, you know, we want to learn about all those am animals because this is Hammy House, not Hedgy House. It used to be Hedgy House. Now it's Hammy House. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So you see how it's like, this is my cage. I said I was going to show you. This is like one half of the cage and then there's a big tube into their play part of the cage. And yeah, so just wanted to show you.